name is Alvin George, and I'm here to withdraw my money from the Bank of America. Why are you doing that? Because they, they pay no taxes, they're foreclosing on people, they're not working with people to modify their loan, they're kicking people out just for profit, and I'm, I'm tired of it. I want to make a protest that I don't want to do business with that type of people who they give most of their money, a lot of their money goes to those uh, loans, those payday loans that, that charge exorbitant interest. And I don't know why would a, a company like Bank of America participate in something like that. And those payday loan people cry upon my people, on low income people. So I, I want to make a protest go to another bank. So what you do today? Well, they wouldn't let me in so I had to push them. And somebody stopped me because they looked, pointed at the SWAT team, it's right there. I don't believe they, I don't believe they got a legal right to keep me from getting my money. That's why I pushed them. I wanted to do a run on the bank. Forget about the SWAT team. I got a legal right to enter that bank and take my money out. I got, here's my Bank of America card, here's my, uh, Certificate of deposit, $5,000, maybe six for interest, I don't know. I had it in there so long, but now I want to pull it out. So I'm not just, I got every right to be in that bank. Mm -hmm. And they have no right to keep me from being in there. That's, Did you, why, that's why I pushed them. Mm -hmm. tell, tell us what happened when you tried to get in. Well, they blocked it. They, uh, they, the three of them came together like, a, like linemen protecting a the quarterback. They were taking Bank of America. So I'm playing like a defensive lineman. And I'm trying to push and get through. So you saying that they would not let you in the building at all? They would not let, let me get past that barricade where, where those three guys are. So I talked to the lieutenant of the St. Louis the Police Department, uh -huh. and he said they don't have a legal right, but he was going to try to work out something where a symbolic gesture where eight people could pull out their money. I'm being one of them. He came back later and said they would not go along with that. That you would have to withdraw your money online. Now that would make no sense. Suppose I don't have a computer. Did you tell them why you were here? No, they could see why I was here. I mean, did, did you tell them you want to go in and withdraw your money? Oh yeah, I told them that. I showed them my card. I showed them my uh, deposit. Did you tell them you were a customer? Yeah. This card tells them I'm a customer. And I got a current letter saying I'm a customer. And they wouldn't let me in. But they were letting other people in, which I feel that discrimination. What, what do you want to do with your money instead of having it here? I want to put it in a local bank. I'm going to find a local bank. First, I want them to write me a check. And now I'm going to look for a, a local bank. that more pro-housing, more pro the community. Are there other people here that were here to withdraw their money? Most of the people here. But they wouldn't let nobody through. So most of those people there are intending to go in and withdraw their money? That was our intention. Until, in fact, they told us we could do it. And then all of a sudden, somebody changed the rule. When I first got here, he said, we're going to let you go in and withdraw your money. And then when I got ready to go in and withdraw my money, he said, oh, we lied. You can't get in. Did they tell you why? In fact, they quit talking. They just blocked. They, they, they won't tell me their names. They won't tell me their positions. They just said, you're not getting in. Trying to um, show Bank of America, we out here, we, we're trying to uh, get some help before we do fall under. Uh, but they, I, I, I need to get financed, I can't get refinanced. Um, I'm not on a fixed rate and um, I tried to get under the program and um, they say that I don't qualify because uh, you have to be in foreclosure or you have to be behind or late. I'm not at that point, but by me having the arm rate, I'm, I'm trying to uh, catch it before I, I go under. Why are you here today? What do you, what do you think you're going to accomplish today? Uh, at least try to uh, get the word out to help the other protesters get the word out. Hey, uh, we're, uh, we're struggling, we're trying to get some help, but you all won't help us. Help us! Sir. I'm James Houston, organizing with more Missouri. Missouri is organizing for reform and empowerment. You know, we heard protests against Bank of America, bad for America, you know, because they've been steadily foreclosing on a lot of people's homes. You know, at the same time, they got trillions of dollars of bailout money. At the same time, pay zero dollars in taxes. You know, why not uh, 
cut these tax breaks that these big corporations are getting, let alone cutting Social Security or Medicare, Medicaid. You know, we need to create jobs, you know, not create more unemployment and throwing people out their home. Because I came by here before. Yeah, we from the day. mid, these people are all over the Midwest. You know, like I say, this is more Missourians organizing for reform and empowerment. That's what we're about. More people, more power. All right, thank you.